Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariana and thanks for joining us today. I just woke up really early, just threw on my husband's hoodie and I'm about to head to go pick up my Walmart order. I have a busy day ahead and we're gonna have to stop at Walmart to do the pickup order. We're not doing Target this week as I normally do. We're gonna do BJ's Wholesale Club, pick up order for that. We're also gonna go to Inside Aldi. We're gonna go to a local health food store, a local farm and maybe even Trader Joe's. So I'm so excited because I have not gone to Trader Joe's in a while. So please join me guys and I'll see you there. So I'm at Walmart right now at the pickup center and I just loaded everything into the back of my vehicle. Got the water, got the goods, and I will show you guys in detail when I get home. Hey guys, I just got home and I laid out all my Walmart hauls, so let me show you that. And also let me show you what I got from Ibotta. Okay, so if you don't have the Ibotta app, just go to the description box. I left a link and I think we're both going to get a bonus for that if you use my link. You get cash back and I've gotten over like $600 on this app cash back for certain items. And today I used $1 cash back for Primal Kitchen dressing. And I also had cash back for the Primal Kitchen ketchup. They have a lot of items. Okay, so as always, I got some all-purpose organic flour. Got three of those. That should carry me through the next two weeks. Vegetable broth. Got two of these. Two pankos. I got one last week and I ran out of it. So I figured I would get two this time. Baking soda, always great to have on hand. This is also a good for baths. It draws out toxins and it's just good for your body. Instead of doing bath bombs or something like that. Got corn, a bunch of that because we use that in certain recipes. I'm also going to be making freezer meals and I'm going to make a video on that. And I'm going to need this for one of those spices. Go through chili powder and cumin a lot in my house. Balsamic vinegar. I'm just going to make like an apple goat cheese salad with like a balsamic vinegar like dressing. I'll show you guys if I make that. Got some more espresso for our little espresso machine. This was like $30 on Amazon. And no, it's not perfect, but it does the job. And I also ordered from Le Monine. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's like this website that sells like organic and like more natural coffee syrups so instead of going out to get coffee we're going to be making it more at home and we just wanted to switch it up a little bit because you can make like cold foam from that and if i do make like a special coffee drink out of the syrups i will make like a youtube short on it and show you guys how i do that so i'm really excited because i think that'll save us money in the long run and i know duncan and like starbucks i don't really go to starbucks anymore because their drinks are like seven dollars but duncan has like a bunch of crap in their cream and in their syrup and i really just want to stay away from that so we're gonna try something new. I also got more olive oil. This is very good, high quality olive oil. I suggest you guys get it if you have it near you. It's only $10 for this whole thing. Peanut butter, some nature's own brioche and butter bread. My husband likes this. I try to make homemade for the kids or I get like whole grain, but this is just quick in a pinch if I need to make something. And for my husband, pretty self-explanatory garbage bags. Freezer bags for some freezer meals. Brown rice, my husband wants to start eating that. Plastic wrap, this is to wrap up the freezer meals. Got some pie pans and got some cake pans to put the food in. These are only like $1.25 each. And it comes with a three pack and this one came with two. So that's a pretty good deal. Celery hearts, got some toothbrushes, sippy cups. I got this, oops gonna drop it i got this i know this is not the best brand out there but i needed a clarifying shampoo this was 98 cents and i do not want to spend like ten dollars on a clarifying shampoo this is just once every week or so every two weeks i'll be using that just to get the grease out because i have hard water so figured i might as well get a clarifying shampoo this is for dish soap these are cheap these are like two dollars and they're natural got a dish scrubber some magnesium. If you don't take magnesium right now, I am not a doctor or a professional, so please don't sue me, but you should take magnesium because like literally like 90% or something of the population is deficient in magnesium. They're also deficient in vitamin D. So please get a high quality magnesium supplement or a high quality vitamin D supplement. Ask your doctor too. Um, Maybe if you have a natu natural path, however they're pronounced, they're really good at prescribing vitamins that fit your needs. But for myself, I know I'm deficient in magnesium and I take it every day. 
it's very important to me. And I'll show you guys in my vitamin cabinet what I take for vitamin D. This is what I take for vitamin D. I got this off Amazon. I think it was $10 and it's a year supply basically for one person. I got this cheese for my husband. He requested this. I'm not a big fan of it, but he likes it. Baking cocoa. This is high quality baking cocoa for only $2. It's literally natural cocoa from Germany. This also has iron in it. So if you make a recipe with like maple syrup with this, you know, bake something or I don't know, make some truffles and get your iron from that and have it be a treat. This, I got rebates for this, as you guys already know. Primal Kitchen, I really love it. We haven't tried this though, so I hope it tastes good. I think it will be good. It's literally got, let's see, avocado oil, all this stuff in it. It's good for you versus Hidden Valley literally is filled with not good ingredients. I was very shocked. I know Hidden Valley tastes good. This is cocktail sauce, and no, I know it's not the best for you, but my husband wants shrimp cocktail, and we don't ever make it. It's more of a treat. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up some shrimp today, either at Aldi or Trader Joe's, so I can make cocktail sauce and whatever at home for him. And I got some limes, freezer meals, regular meals. Got some cilantro, bananas, frozen broccoli, peas and carrots. I think you can guess what I'm making with the pie crust or pie pan and peas and carrots um, for a freezer meal. And then I got tuna. My husband likes to eat this for his lunch. So this is what I got. This is the whole Walmart haul, and it was $170, and that is kind of expensive for the amount of food I got, but it is what it is. We also got two cases of Aquafina. So I will see you guys when we head down to the other stores, like BJ's, and I'll record when I'm down there. I'm doing that in about an hour or so, so let me go get ready. And we made it. Okay guys, we made it to Trader Joe's and it's like freezing rain right now, so that kind of sucks, but we're really excited because we never get to go here. So I'm going to try to see if I can get some stuff that I would normally get at Aldi's and just pick it up here. So let me take you guys inside. So I love the produce selection that Trader Joe's had and these were really cheap. These were actually the wrong ones. The ones behind it were the heirloom ones, but these were really cheap for heirloom oranges and we got them and they were so juicy and delicious. These lemons were a pretty good deal. Picked up some lemons. They have a really good selection of fresh pasta and ravioli. And they have all these like little like peppermint cocoa stuff left over from Christmas. And just like little fun little foods and like trinkets or whatever that you wouldn't normally get at a normal grocery store. That's why Trader Joe's is so cool in my opinion. My kids love this yogurt. And to be honest, it tastes very thick and creamy. It's very good. I like it too. I cannot find like organic sour cream near me for a reasonable price or at all. Three fifty, not a bad deal. Picked that up. I love organic stuff. They had a bunch of organic heavy cream and stuff, but I was gonna get that at Aldi because that's a little bit cheaper at Aldi's. They have some organic crescent rolls. That's nice. Love that. They have some really yummy chocolate chip cookie dough. And the ingredients were a lot cleaner than other chocolate chip cookie doughs I've seen. And they had heirloom chicken, which I thought was really awesome. I didn't pick it up this time, but I'm definitely thinking of getting it next time. And I think that has more nutrients and it's air chilled. Just more benefits for that heirloom chicken. Picked up some of this uncured sliced bacon. I just had it tonight with my family. It was pretty good. And these taco shells are awesome. They're only like two fifty a box, and they literally are organic. They're amazing. They taste really good too. I picked up some organic sunflower oil while I was here just for frying. I know it's not the best, but it's still better than GMO canola oil. Got some avocado oil while we were here. I love these fun little multicolored pastas. What's your guys' favorite item for Trader Trader Joe's? If you've ever been here, let me know in the comments. What's your claim to fame item that you always get? For us, I would definitely say it's the taco shells. And my husband loves the unexpected cheddar. We also really love the midnight moo syrup, but they were all out of that today. I was also so excited to find this seasonal item that's at Aldi, but I guess they have it year-round here. Maple leaf cookies, they are so good. Get them. All right, guys. So we just got out of Trader Joe's and the health food store, and now we are going to be heading home. And it is truly a winter wonderland out here. And I mean, it's a little late because for 
Christmas we barely had any snow, but it is what it is. So I will see you guys when we get home and I get everything laid out and I'll show you guys in detail what we got. And just giving you guys a forewarning, my total for everything, every store, BJ's, Walmart, Healthy Living, Trader Joe's, the local farm, and Aldi was $642. So we did go over the 500 that I wanted to spend every two weeks, but that's okay because we got some extras that we don't usually get. So I will see you guys at home. Okay guys, just made it back home. So let me go over the Trader Joe's portion of this haul first. Okay, so if I remember correctly, guys, I think Trader Joe's was like $140 or so. And the reason why my haul was so expensive this week is because we bought a lot of snack food that we wouldn't normally buy because we don't ever really go to Trader Joe's. Veggie sticks. These are really good. Corn tortilla chips. I love how Trader Joe's stuff is always non-GMO and no artificial dyes and stuff like that. So even their junk food is better for you. These are so good. And I showed you guys in the store. So excited for these. Some chocolate covered pretzels. More chocolate covered pretzels. These have peanut butter in them. Some oil. Got some Hawaiian rolls. Some buns. These are only $2.50 each. Great deal. Got some salad. Some heirloom oranges. Peanut butter cups. My husband really loves these hash browns. They don't have a lot of junk in them, like the other ones do. So whenever we go down there, we try to pick up a package of these, package or three. Um, hold the cone ice cream cones. My husband and kids really like these. My husband really enjoys unexpected cheddar. If you have not gone to Trader Joe's and you're going, get some unexpected cheddar. It's like cheddar cheese with like Parmesan. It tastes really good. Organic sour cream. I appreciate that they have that in organic because I can't find that around where I live. Fresh lemons and got a bunch of seasoning. My husband picked out the seasoning. I probably wouldn't pick these out, but he wanted them, so we'll see how they taste. <laughs> Ketchup, that's so weird. I got some oregano because I was all out of oregano. Got some everyday seasoning. Sea salt, mustard seeds, black peppercorns. This sounds like it would be good on steak. Got some tortillas. These don't have as much preservatives in them as the ones from the normal store do. So picked up some of these and they were only like $3 each. My husband wanted to try this tricolor spaghetti. That looks pretty cool. My kids really enjoy this banana and strawberries and cream yogurt. Got some strip steak and got some bacon, the uncured kind. Really like that. I saw this and this is only $1.99 for two bars of soap. So I thought that would be really nice. Um, got my kids picked this out for their breakfast some days. This, I got more flour, even though I did get some at Walmart, because this was actually only $4.50 a bag, so that was cheaper than Walmart, so I thought that was pretty nice. And my husband really loves these chocolate milks, so he got three of them. And they're cleaner than the chocolate milks that we have around here usually, so whenever we go down, he picks some of them up. And yes, this was the whole Trader Joe's haul. Lots of snack foods, but it's worth it, because we don't go down that much. Next is my BJ's Wholesale Club haul. And it's just like a Costco if you guys have never been there. It's in the Northeast and it's literally the same thing as a Costco, I'm pretty sure. So we've got some organic russet potatoes. These were like $3 a bag. So we got two of those. We've got some maple syrup. This was like $16. We go through one of these every two weeks. Got some vanilla flavoring. It, does, it says water, alcohol, natural flavor. It does have vanilla extract in it. And it's a little bit cleaner than the 99 cent one from Walmart. So I figured I'd pick this up because I can't really afford the super duper expensive one at the moment. So this will be fine for now. Gala apples. This little five pound bag was literally only four bucks. So I thought that was a great deal. My kids love gala apples. Spring mix for salads. I wanted to make that apple goat cheese salad that I mentioned earlier with the balsamic vinegar. So I'm going to make that. Got some baby spinach. I wanted to make some quiche for breakfast for my family maybe freeze that got some whole milk one of these is for yogurts the second one is for yogurt if we run out or for drinking if we run out of the farm milk because these last longer than the farm milk because they're ultra pasteurized i'm not too crazy about that but it is what it is it tastes pretty good so and it's grass-fed so at least you get some nutrients in that and then i got two bags of these coffees one of these bags lasts about 
two weeks in our house, so this will be good for a month. We tried to stock up. And this was the BJ's Wholesale Haul. And I also got wipes and diapers and stuff like that. So that's why you're not seeing the whole entire price here. Because I have other stuff that I didn't show. And so yeah, that was about $150. And let me go over and show you what I got at the natural store and the farm. So I got three gallons of milk. And we do buy, this is raw milk. It's like organic raw milk. And they do test it. So don't be worried. It's perfectly safe and healthy, and there's many health benefits to that. So we really enjoy that when we can go down there. Then we got some organic spaghetti, elbows, penne, some ginger. I'm going to do some freezer meals. I need some ginger for that. And I got these garnet sweet potatoes. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these before. They're like a different, they must be heirloom or something. If you guys know about them, let me know. I haven't really tried them before. I'm really excited to try them, though. And let me go ahead... Sorry about the dirty dishes. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys my Aldi's haul. I gotta get it out for you guys. Yeah, I forgot two items that were in the BJ's haul, so that kind of makes more sense why it was expensive. I got this big bag of frozen berry, cherry, and kale Wyman's. Why is the video quality so bad, the lighting? And then I got this Kerrygold cheese, very good. Favorite cheese. Okay, now here's the Aldi's haul. Haul was $122, and that doesn't look like a lot for $122 at all. But mind you, I got some more expensive meats this week. I got two things of top sirloin. They were like, what? Almost $10 a piece. Two packs of chicken because I had leftovers because I bought a bunch of chicken on clearance last week. Or two weeks ago, excuse me. Four bags of organic cheese. These are only $2.25 each. And we eat tacos a lot and enchiladas, stuff like that. Three things of organic marinara orange juice, three things of butter, shredded Parmesan, grated Parmesan. These are great for our burgers or sandwiches. This, I got this this week. It was $10 for this Argentinian red shrimp. Really excited for that. It's wild caught. Got some goat cheese for the salad. Got some cherries. These are just for my kids for a little bit. I got to take the pits out, obviously, before they have them. But they really enjoy those. More cheese, mild cheddar Swiss. This is that grass-fed family pack. This was $20. Organic half and half. $3.45, I think. And these were $1.20 each. They're normally like four something, so I thought that was a great deal. So that is everything we got from Aldi's this week. I was going to be able to get most things at Trader Joe's that I would get at Aldi's, but Aldi's is still cheaper in a lot of things, even though I think they're sister companies. So that's pretty cool. They have a lot of similar items. So, yeah, everything here was $642, and that's pretty insane. But, like I said, it is for two weeks, so divide that in half. That's about $320 a week. Includes things like personal care items, wipes, stuff like that. So, it's really not that crazy, especially in this inflation. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for sticking with me for this grocery haul and the shop with me at Trader Joe's. That was so fun. If you like this content, please like and subscribe for more. I post... <laughs> they're okay um i post videos every two weeks for grocery hauls and then i do weekly videos shop with me's food preps stuff like that so please join me guys if you like it and i'll see you guys in the next video